Nigga, nigga, bitch, nigga, 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 fried chicken, nigga, watermelon, nigga, bitch, nigga, nigga, white women, titties, ass. Nigga, nigga, bitch, nigga, 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 fried chicken, nigga, watermelon. Okay, so what's going on? Um, I'm making this video um, in response to Tommy Sotomayor's video concerning the word nigga. Now, just like any other coon, Tom, Sambo, sellout, whatever you choose to call them. Uh, he has to appease. He has to tickle the balls of the white man. In Thomas Sotomayor's mind, anything that comes from his mouth is sound right logic in his mind what he says is the most logical explanation of a situation that any person could come up with ego is a motherfucker this is not a diss to Tony Sotomayor you are what you are and you know exactly what you are. I left a comment under a video that he did explaining to him that you are not a coon for all of these reasons that these radical pro-blacks say that you're a coon. That's, that's not why you're a coon. You're not a coon because you buck dance and jump through fiery hoops for the white man. You are a coon because your criticism outweighs your contribution of the black community into the black community or in the black community. So, Thomas Sotomayor made this video um, day for yesterday, something like that, saying that uh, white people could say the word nigga. Me, myself... I don't give a damn if a white person says the word or not. You know, it's it's no different than us saying bitch, motherfucker, asshole, dickwad. I could care less about the word. Now, to some other people, they they don't want white people using that word. It's understandable. You know, that part of history or that word from history means a lot to them and especially our elders. You know, so I'm not heartless when it comes to the usage of that word. I use that word all the time. I use that word all the time. And I don't give a damn, you know, how the next person feels about it about me using that word now I can't remember the logic that Thomas Sotomayor used but it was basically what every person says you know black people use it why can't white people use it you know shit like that here's the thing if white people are so sorry about what their ancestors did to our ancestors in slavery and they hate every bit of that past all of the sympathy all of the empathy in their heart concerning slavery white people do not get to use the word Simply because if you are as empathetic as you claim, 
you should be trying to get us to stop using the word. That word shouldn't even be on your lips because of the so-called empathy that you feel towards slavery and your ancestors' wrongdoing towards our ancestors. Does that make sense? (laughs) If it doesn't make sense, let me explain it to you. Let me try to explain it just a little bit slower. Part of slavery, there were whips and chains. If you want to use the word nigga, which was something that your ancestors invented. Now, they may not have invented the whip and the chains, but it was something that they used, just like they used the word nigga. At the same time you're using this word nigga, would you like to use a whip and a chain while saying that word as well? Of course you wouldn't. That question was ridiculous, right? Here's another one. During slavery, while hunting runaways and finding the runaways, tell you where I'm going with this. I hope about this runaway. A condition called drapetomania. And many of us pro blacks, pan Africanists, black nationalists, tend to have this drapetomania uh, phenomena, symptom, condition. Because you dislike us the way that you dislike us. At the same time you're using this word nigga, would you like to get a ravaging dog? Would you like to seek that dog on us? Take us back to whoever master's plantation is? No, you wouldn't. That was a dumb question as well. So the dumb question The overall dumb question is, can I, a white person who's watching this, this is what you may be asking yourself, can I use the word nigga? You cannot use the word nigga if you are a sympathetic, empathetic white person who cares about the upliftment and betterment of black people. If we are choosing to tear ourselves down with words that the white man created, not just nigger or coon or sambo, but we tear ourselves down with words like asshole, bitch, motherfucker, things of that nature. So, this whole uh, tearing each other down with the word nigga, that's, that's bullshit. It's accurate, but it's a bullshit excuse for white people to say the word as well. A white person who claims to love black people cannot say this word. Because if you love us, it's just like your children. Me personally, I know a lot of people don't do this, but I do it. I don't curse around my children. Because I don't want my children to pick up on that language. Same thing goes for white people who so-called care about black people. I want you to do better, so I'm not going to use this word around you. Matter of fact, let's 
increase your vocabulary. Let's find you another word to say instead of nigger or nigga, you know. But white people want to say this word so bad, so say it. Just know that when those consequences, the retaliation, or the reflex from someone who takes that word serious in their mind, that word means something else, but when it comes from your lips, when that word comes from your lips, it ultimately means the same thing that it always meant. See, this is the thing with society. We can take a word and we can flip it and we can change it and make it mean something else. I heard this uh, from a um, from a guy a while back who said that the word queen originally meant whore. Now, it may have, it may not. We don't know. But if it did, why did, why would anyone stop using the word queen when they have been using that word for so long check this out a while back I did a video about this guy named Steve Stephens who killed this old man um, I forget what city it was in and I brought up the fact that Umar Johnson's um, the uh, his explanation for black on black crime was economic castration and poor education now, when we talk about crime, black on black crime in our neighborhoods, not not even black on black crime, even black on white crime, black on Hispanic crime, black on um, Ethiopian, um, Caucasian, uh, anybody, anybody. What I was talking about in that video was the root cause, the origin of why. We do the things that we do. And people in that comment section were saying, stop making excuses. You know, um, that that doesn't mean shit. They ultimately knew what they were doing, right? The same thing applies. The same thing applies when we talk about words. When we talk about words, you want to talk about the origin of the word. This is why I say I don't give a damn if white people say the word or not. But if you are a white person who claims to love black people and you use this word, in my mind, you do not. No matter how much you claim to love black people, no matter how many black friends you claim to have, if you want the if you want your so-called black friends to be better and they themselves use the word nigga, you yourself should not use this word because you want them to do better. You want them to speak better. What, what do you want out of using this word, nigga? Does it make you feel more a part of our culture? If, if anything, like I said, this word is a word that your ancestors invented, gave a definition to. If you if you are not concerned with the origin and reason behind why black women do the things that they do, if you are not concerned with the origin and reason why black men do the things that they do, if you are not concerned nor care about the origin and reason behind the situation that black people people 
are currently in, then you yourself should not care about the origin of the word, Thomas Sotomayor. Society changes, fashion changes, words change. I mean, it doesn't matter your view or your perception of the word. Your perception of the word doesn't mean anything and you yourself cannot give white people the okay to say something that they're already saying. It's the intent behind the words used. White people know not to say that word around black people. They know not to say it. It is the coon's place to try to tell black people by beating around the bush, so to speak. They're trying to tell black people don't amp out on white people who use this word. Nah, you're still gonna get amped out on. That's just, you know, that's just the reality of the situation. The way that you know, black people perceive reality. You have not yet done anything in your power, Thomas Sotomayor, to contribute to the consciousness of black people. There was no logic behind what you say. I mean, that video, in my opinion, was just made just to be made just to piss some people off. You see what I'm saying? It was probably something on his mind and he just decided to press record. That's understandable. But you taught nothing but to beat around the bush to tell black people don't amp out on a white person who uses the word nigga. But I'm not gonna make this video any longer than I than I have to. I'm um cover the uh cover this video right quick. White people who uh, so called love black people, care about black people, got black friends, you know, don't see color. You should not say the word nigga simply because Black people use the word to uh, allegedly, supposedly use the word to tear each other down. Why would you want to join in that tearing each other down when you tore us down for 300 to 400 years? You do not have the right if you love black people and care about black people. Then again, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say. It's your mouth. You say it around me, shit, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not finna <laughs> go to jail behind some words. You see what I'm saying? Nor do I want to spark confrontation behind words. Because... We know the different variations of the word nigger, niger, niggerous. We know the different variations of the word. It's just that white people took the word and made it mean something else. But anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like always, if you want to go, let's go. You know, I don't back down from no challenge. You know, um, if you're new to the channel, check out the content. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.